the public is really um, nervous um, and just confused about the constitutional amendments. You never know what they mean. They weren't very clear on some of them. They had confusing language in some, but you had to really read and reread to make sure that you voted yes or no, whatever your pro uh, position was. I really don't understand a lot of the amendments, uh, but I'm, I'm moved when I uh, talk to people uh, that I know that uh, want the same things in life that we want. So we just need some explanation about what these amendments are about. You know, just give us some idea of what we're voting for. With Amendment 2, the, the property tax, could you explain more about the property tax for veterans with disabilities? Right. This is expanding a exemption that disabled veterans already have in the state. Right now, instead of the $75,000 homestead exemption, which would most people get, 100% disabled veterans get a $150,000 exemption. The amendment would move it to a total exemption so they wouldn't have to pay property taxes for people that are 100% disabled. And then people that are less disabled, uh, also their veterans, uh, would also get a bigger break than they're getting now. But really understanding them is tough. The lawmakers should be required to write it in a language that most people would understand. For Amendment 3, uh, there's a political activity, like if someone's in office, do you, do you, can you support them? We have set up the civil service system that's supposed to act as a buffer between political influence and the, um, you know, the effectuation of government, and this could undermine that. If you don't tell anybody or you don't explain them enough and you just put them on a ballot, people are not going to vote for them or they're not going to understand them. And they may indeed vote for the wrong thing. Stephen Procopio says citizens need to educate themselves on what the amendments are before they vote. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.